I'm on a hill. Mm -hmm. I'm on a hill. Um, that's like a. I've been there before. Mm -hmm. Not in real, but some, somewhere, some. Mm -hmm. some and uh, and I'm sitting on the hill, and it's green. There's no trees there, just bare. Bear here, but you can see things around, like you can see from the high. Mm -hmm. um, what else is around you? Mm, there's nothing, just this little boy that is there, which... Let's find out who that little boy is. Describe him for me. Mm. It's, um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's maybe around eight or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's he mm -hmm. doing there? He's just sitting there. Mm -hmm. He's got um, um, like a garden pants, working pants, but with um, braces and short. They're short. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like a boy, like from a some kind of a. Uh, it reminds me of, uh, you know, Chris Chris from Winnie the Pooh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is he there for? I want you to mm -hmm. use your connection with him. Connect with him mind to mind. And let's find out what this little boy is doing there. He's just sitting there and resting and mm -hmm. reading a book now. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that book is. I'd like for you to lean over and see. What that book says. Mm. What do you imagine it's all about? I think it's just Winnie the Pooh book. Mm -hmm. And he holds it upside down. Mm. So let's find out what's he actually doing. Is he actually reading that book or is he observing something else? No, he's just looking at it. Oh. I don't know. No, it's just now I'm thinking that this hill turned into a. <laughs> it's funny. It turned into a a planet like a little prince. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what's around you now. Mm. Look around you. Mm. Well, there's some kind of a flower in there. And mm -hmm. There's um. It's like a. It's not rose. It's just a. Like a pink kind of flower, like a cartoon flower. Mm -hmm. How big is this flower? It's huge. It's mm -hmm. as big as the planet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny. So I'd like for you to focus <laughs> on yourself as you're looking at this and let me know if you have a body in this place. Do you feel mm. like you have a physical body? Mm. Turn your attention on the observer. Who is observing this flower? Mm -mm. What does it feel like? I feel... I don't know. It feels... Do you feel like you have a physical body? Or do you feel that I you can... I feel like I don't, but I feel like I want to create it. Like, mm -hmm. as if I've got long legs and... Mm -hmm. so like, I'm... maybe I'm that boy, but I'm just like a bigger, like a, mm -hmm. like, like taller boy, like a... Mm -hmm. So look yeah. down at your feet and see if you have feet. Mm. What do your feet look like? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to do any thinking. I just want you to do reporting back. Mm -hmm. So what do you imagine is there? They look like... um. I don't know, they look funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell me what they look like. Um, they look like um, very thin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are the feet very thin or are the, the legs very thin? The, um, the legs are very thin and mm -hmm. they... Um, I want to say an alien, but <laughs> it's, I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just All think right. it was funny. So let's find out what else he mm -hmm. looks like. It's Keep. just... And there's no feet. It's mm -hmm. just... Um, like a, the feet are like a, 
discs, kind of some sort of disc, like an oval shape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What color are his legs? Are are the leaves? They're like a legs? white or gray or... Mm-hmm. Yeah, like a light color. Now, from what are you obs- where are you observing this? Are you observing your own feet? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. let's observe the rest of your body. What does the rest of your body look like? Mm. Imagine that you had a spiritual mirror in front of you. What does it look like? Mm. What does your torso look like? Looks, it looks like a Pinocchio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like Pinocchio. It's like uh, all the thin, thin legs and mm-hmm. and bodies like made out of wood. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that you're made out of wood? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm a puppet, some kind of a marionette. Mm-hmm. But no one is holding it. It's just me it's so are you on ground or are you floating around um, i'm th- floating now mm-hmm. i'm not there anymore so let's see where you float to i want you to go ahead and drift and float go floating and drifting and let's find another important place and time in that same lifetime drifting and floating be there now. What do you imagine yourself to be at? Where are you? Um, it's 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 like I'm in this cartoon again, but mm-hmm. I'm a Pinocchio in the, this room where my father is, is has shaped me. Okay. <laughs> so funny, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, that's so crazy. So look around. What does this room look like? It's like a um What does it look like? <laughs> Describe it for me. It's a, a sculpture, like um, someone who makes things out of wood. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking of my father because he used to be, he used to do something out of wood, apparently. Mm-hmm. So tell me more about this. Tell me what you're feeling. What comes into your mind? I'm feeling like um, like he created me. Mm-hmm. But I'm um, I don't know, just there. But he's. He's, he's, he's not in there. I'm mm-hmm. just in this room. Mm-hmm. Well, when you create something, there's always an intention that creates. What was the intention for you being created? I think he just... Um, he just wanted to create something beautiful and something to give life to it. Mm-hmm. And um, see it, how it um, becomes alive and how it's what's it's gonna um, what's gonna happen, what's gonna happen when he creates it, this um, wooden toy and um, if he puts life into it somehow and it becomes royal. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens next. I want you to fast forward that scene and let's see what happens next. I'm still in that room and Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. It just seems like I'm, I'm can see this marionette, but I'm not this marionette. So mm-hmm. I just can watch it. Yes. And it grew. It's got a red uh, hat. Mm-hmm. And it's bigger, just longer, like longer legs, longer arms, and it's as big as the room. And it's, it's gone beyond the room now. It's going out loud. Mm-hmm. And do you have mm-hmm. any control of how big? No, it's just going, just growing. Mm-hmm. It's outgrowing that room, and it's... It's, it's in a space now, I don't know. It's mm-hmm. So how do you feel as you outgrow this room? I feel like... I, I don't I feel like I... Connect with the feelings. <laughs> like I left this little room. Mm-hmm. And I'm in space, I'm huge and expanded. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and it feels like um, I'm there and I just, everything is in my, like, and everything is, I can do anything I would like, but I left this room and I just, I don't know where, mm-hmm. where I should be. All right. So let's find out where you go to next. I'd like for you to close that scene and now go to the next significant scene in that lifetime. Allow yourself to drift and float to the next significant scene and be there now. Where are you? What do you imagine it be there? Use all of your senses. What do you imagine yourself to be? Mm. Mm. What does it feel like? I feel it's like I'm a like a mermaid. Mm-hmm. Where are you? I'm just, like, I feel like I've got a top body Mm -hmm. and my bottom part is like a fish. Mm -hmm. Describe that part for me. That part is made out of, um, like, scales Mm -hmm. and it's moving. It's, like, flapping. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if I'm... Are you male or female? I'm I'm female. Mm-hmm. I'm female, and I haven't got any clothes. So I've got long hair and got nice breast and got arms and long hair. And what, I is think your, what does your face look like? My face is. I feel like it's very beautiful face, mm-hmm. it's like a human face. Mm-hmm. Very long, dark hair. Um, How old do you feel there? I feel, I feel young. I mm-hmm. feel, I don't know, twenty maybe. Mm-hmm. So look around you. Are you inside the water or outside? I'm outside of the water, mm-hmm. but I'm I'm sitting on something. I don't know if it's a boat or is it a rock? Maybe. Take a look around. What does it's it feel like? It's like a like a rock. I think it's mm-hmm. like a rock. So let's find out what you're doing on that rock. I'm just resting and enjoying the, Mm -hmm. just being there and being out of water and... uh, Are there anybody with you? Are you by yourself? Yeah, I'm I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens next. What happens after you sit on that rock for a while? What do you do? I'm swimming in the water, mm-hmm. very fast, and my hair is like moving, like um, 
just flo floating. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to continue floating and drifting in through that water. And let's see where it is that you live. I live. Mm -hmm. It's like a cave under the water. Mm -hmm. What's inside that mm. cave? It's um, seashells. Mm. Some shells. Some shells. Mm -hmm. um, some kind of like algae, like a, like the entrance to it is like a, like algae looks like a hair. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, like a. <laughs> it looks, uh, it looks very funny. Mm -hmm. Um, like a, <laughs> and um, going in there. Um. Is this yeah, there's shows in there. And is this underwater or is it? It's underwater. But does it have any air underwater or is it all um, in the water? No, but I just like it's in the water. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like I need air mm -hmm. when I'm there. <clears throat> and it's like green, lots of green and blue colors, like the water and the algae and. and uh, Are you by yourself, or are there others with you? Yeah, I'm by myself. There's no one there. It's just my my little space, mm -hmm. and, like my home. And I feel like there's some mirrors in there. Uh huh. Take a look at the and mirrors. I can watch in the mirror, and I can see my face. And... Mm -hmm. So let's see what it is <laughs> that you do on a normal day. I'd like for you to close that scene and see yourself doing. What you love to do during a day? I like playing mm -hmm. with that little mermaid. <laughs> so who are you playing with? Feels like my daughter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Describe what she looks like. She looks like me, just a little. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's got um, yeah, just um. Same body, just a little one. And, mm -hmm. and we're just dancing in the water and mm -hmm. spinning around. And Do you call her by any name? I just think of Sarah, same Sarah, Princess Sarah. Mm -hmm. Same like my daughter. So take a look into her eyes, the mm -hmm. eyes of the window to the soul. Mm -hmm. Connect with the soul. Does that seem like the same soul? Yeah, I think so. Very good. So let's see what you do next. Where do you go to next? Allow yourself to drift and float and be there now. I'm um, taking her underwater with other lots of mermaids there. Mm -hmm. Lots of female mermaids, like mums, mermaids. And children where are you it's it's just in between the rocks mm -hmm. and we're just playing and just playing and enjoying being together just dancing in a circle like holding our hands in a circle and now there's no children there now it's just us women mm -hmm. And we're like floating horizontally and uh, dancing. Like I say dancing, but it's like spinning around in mm -hmm. a circle, like a, some kind of a, I don't want to say ritual, but it's more like a, just being together, united mm -hmm. with other women. Yes. Um, like feeling that. Um, unity and um, so I'd like for you to use this experience to just absorb this wonderful feeling of being with other women of enjoying yourself mm -hmm. of this wonderful feeling of just being just fun absorb it into every cell of your body knowing that when you play you feel like you're in bliss and when you're in bliss you're just being. 
Allow that to just filter through every cell of your body, reminding you of this wonderful feeling of play. Mm -hmm. And now I'd like for you to close that scene. Let's now move to the another scene in that same lifetime when something significant is happening. Mm -hmm. Something has happened. Um, Where are you? There's like a... I can see like a Neptune, like a mm -hmm. um, a king of the seas and the oceans, and he's got this um, like a fork, fork-looking thing in his left hand. Mm -hmm. He's got a beard and uh, like a white beard, mm -hmm. and he's a, he's a mermaid too, but it's a, fee a male mermaid, like a older, mm -hmm. um, older-looking king. Mm -hmm. And he's gathering us there. What's the purpose of that? And there's, I think there's someone else there too. And there's, um, I think he's saying there's some kind of a danger, or it seems like he's 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 not angry, but he's yeah, he's like upset or angry, but more like he's um, firm and. Um, he's like his authority there in the ocean, and uh, so just gathered us the just females, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what it is that he's telling you. Mm. I'd he's, like for you to connect and tell me exactly what he's thinking. He's saying there's a war, mm -hmm. and there's ships coming. Big ships um, is a, a danger. Mm -hmm. Where are these ships coming from? They're coming. It's like a. It's like a big, like a, like those Titanic mm -hmm. ships, huge boat ship, like a a huge one with lots of people in. The, that's what he's saying, and and I can see it like it's floating mm -hmm. on the surface like we, we, we're not near it but I can f see it like a thrower like a, I've got these I've got these senses no sense like a, abilities to see it through mm -hmm. so tell distance me what, so tell me what is going to happen and there's dolphins coming and um, they are so they're just, there's lots of dolphins coming, and uh, I think we're running away, we're escaping from there. Mm -hmm. We're All floating right. somewhere, we're following the dolphins. Let's find out where it is that you go. <clears throat> we're following the dolphins, we're going, and... Where do you go? So we're just going far, far, and it's like, it's, I think it's not ice in there, so like Antarctica, some like a cold place, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there's lots of ice on the surface now, and uh, and it's like the dolphins are taking the ice, and it's strange, they're just taking these eyes and they're covering us under the water, like in some kind of a cave, mm -hmm. like as it, it's like they doing it with their mouth, they're taking the eyes and they're putting it down and covering, like sealing, mm -hmm. sealing the place where we are, and we're just there, um, in there, in the depths mm -hmm. of the sea there, and. We're not coming out, we're just staying there, and I think... How many are there? There's heaps, all of us. Mm -hmm. there. Feels like everyone is there. But I think the Neptune stayed in... Well, because, yeah, he stayed there, I don't know why. He so, stayed there, it's just all of us, or women. So let's find out what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene. And open the scene when we find out what happens. It's like we, um, 
There's like a vortex opening up through the... Tell me more. Uh, it's like a, a, a tunnel or a hologramic tunnel vortex kind of thing. And we just like in the spirals, like in a shape of a DNA thing, like mm -hmm. going up, up. Yes. Somewhere else in space. We're living this planet. Mm -hmm. And then we... We're just, yeah, transporting somewhere else. All right, so let's see when that transportation begins. Mm -hmm. Be there now and tell me what happens as you transport yourself. We're just back. spinning in there. And mm -hmm. It's very fast, very fast. It's we're spinning, 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 going up, up, up. And let's find out what happens when you go up. And, Is there uh, someone there to greet you? Mm, no, we just, we just, now we, we're dropping, we're following the, the dolphins. I think it's their planet or something. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just, I see it as the, the water, we're just like jumping to this water. Mm -hmm. And that's where the dolphins live and we just go in there. And what does this planet look like? Look around you and see what it looks like. It's just um, like blue waters everywhere. Mm -hmm. Is there any land in this place? Mm, I can't see it. It's mm -hmm. just water. Very good. Just yeah, yes. just water and the dolphins. So and, now, so now let's go to the mm -hmm. to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself in the last day and tell me where you are. Mm. Where are you? Um, I don't know. I'd like for you to continue I'm, that. I just see the dolphin. Mm -hmm. What happens with that dolphin? It's just... It's just there. Mm -hmm. what about As you? if he's looking after me or something. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel in this place on the last day of your life? Um, I don't feel like I'm dying. I mm -hmm. feel like I'm just, I don't know. So allow yourself to transition out of that body now. Maybe I'm, I'm this dolphin now. Mm -hmm. um, Take a look at your body. What does it look like? Um, what does it feel like? Well, it feels still like a mermaid. Mm -hmm. So I'd like... Uh, go ahead. Yeah. I don't know. It feels maybe I'm turning into the dolphin. Mm -hmm. Like a shape lifting or some kind of thing. All right. So let's continue and see what happens. And I'm a dolphin. Very this, good. This. Yeah. So as a dolphin, tell me what where you are. I'm there. I'm just mm -hmm. there making these funny noises. Mm -hmm. These sounds. Well, tell me what happens next. Where do you go to next? Um, as this dolphin. I'm just yeah. I'm just there. Anything else I'm, important? I'm, I'm I'm grabbing that body of this mermaid mm -hmm. and I'm taking it under the water now mm -hmm. but it's just the body it's, okay it's, it's not I'm not in that body I'm the dolphin taking yes. that body down under the waters and like I don't know just taking it mm -hmm. and it just dissolves in the water beautiful anything so. else from that scene that's important no, it's just, it's just, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. So let's find out the importance of that lifetime of this dolphin. What is the significance of this dolphin life? It's, um... I... I'm not sure about the dolphin, but I feel about the mermaid. Mm-hmm. 
that this life was very playful. Mm-hmm. Was very feeling free and yeah, just playful and just being mm-hmm. and enjoying life and um, being a, a beautiful woman, uh, a mother, and a friend, and. Uh, and it was a shame, like it was a, a shame that people made us leave mm-hmm. the planet. We enjoyed it, our life there. Very and, good. Uh, and uh, we had no other choice, otherwise they would probably kill us all. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very good. And um, yeah, I feel like. I was kind of a green color or something, mm-hmm. too. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so let's close that scene, let's leave that scene and move on to another lifetime. Another lifetime that is impacting you now. So I'd like for you to drift through time and space to another time and another place. Allow yourself to be there now. Look around you. I am. Where are you? Is it daytime or nighttime? I didn't. I didn't really want to go there, but mm. I'm there. And mm-hmm. I think I'm just resisting this mm. because of some other things. Okay, let's. I want you to get your mind out of that, and let's just go with the flow. Mm-hmm. Where are you? I'm seeing, well, I left that other scene behind and I'm seeing. Um, what do you see? I don't know if it's like a, I don't know, it's a heart? No. Describe it like for me. Like a, 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 I just can see only this. Child's girl's hat. Mm-hmm. It's um, what kind of hat is it? Like a on the American prairie mm-hmm. kind of a hat. Mm-hmm. Um, Tell me more. So just a, a pretty you... blue hat with a little flower on. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the there's no one there. It's just the hat for the baby. Or, mm-hmm. There's no baby or... So I want you to focus on yourself, the observer, and tell me if you have a body there. Uh, I think... I think I'm a male. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm a male. I think... uh, Tell me more. What do you feel? uh, Feels like I'm a... Use all of your senses. Like I'm, I'm having this um, gardener's kind of pants, mm-hmm. like a working pants, dark brown, black color. Mm-hmm. Gardener's pants. Like a like a you know like this scarecrow's mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yes, like. Mm-hmm. Um, and. So I think this hat is for my baby. Mm-hmm. Or maybe not. I don't know. Tell me more about yourself. What else do you look like? I look uh, got like a pointy nail nose. Mm-hmm. Not very pretty. <laughs> not very pretty. No, just like a old farmer mm-hmm. thing. How old do you feel there? I feel pretty old. Mm-hmm. I feel, I don't know, maybe 60, in my 60s. Mm-hmm. And where are you right now? Um, I 
What room are you in? Um. Look all around. What is this place? I can see this the same. This carriage. Mm-hmm. Carriage. Carriage, like a with a horse. Mm-hmm. Like they had in the prairies. Yes. Where is this carriage? Like a wooden carriage. Mm-hmm. Are you on it? Or are you seeing mm, it? I'm seeing it. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what's in that carriage. There's, a, there's some luggages. Mm-hmm. And there's this... Oh, there's, this mm. Is this carriage coming or going? Oh, it's turning into a like a... Um, Carrot, like a uh, not carrot. Um, it's car car. Um, it's this carriage, like in a turns to something, some different kind of era now, mm -hmm. like those fancy French Austrian carriages for noble people. With these, they were wearing those fake hair, the wigs, white wigs, and, mm -hmm. and there's. Uh, yeah, like 1700s, whatever. There's this guy bring back, like, um, he's dri riding this carriage, and, and this, this carriage is black mm -hmm. with white, like white edges. And, and then there's a door opening, and there's a woman coming out. Mm -hmm. She's got a, a red. Burgundy, magenta, red dress, beautiful mm -hmm. dress, those fancy dresses and the, and the hat. And uh, tell me more. And uh, who's the observer of the scene? Um, um I, I think um, this is the observer. I'm watching it, but I think I wanted to say that I'm that one, but I'm not. I'm just watching her mm -hmm. coming in, and uh, she's That's... very beautiful. Where is she going into? Mm. She's going into this building. There's a ball. Mm -hmm. There's uh, some kind of a. Let's find out what's going on there. There's uh, lots of people dancing, and they have like a those little. Um, uh, there's like a, it's not a handbag, it's not like a, maybe they keep, I don't know if it's money in there or like it attached to her hand. Okay. It's, uh, very pretty. Mm -hmm. What's it made out of? Um, it's made out of fabric, the same color as her dress. Mm -hmm. And it's like a little bag. Yes. And maybe it's some kind of tickets there or something. Let's find out. Maybe like a ticket for dancing? I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny. Um, Just your first impression. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is it? Um, I think there's something else apart from this ticket. I think there's like a coins in there or something. Mm -hmm. And she's carrying it. And, uh, she's got these laces. The dress is made of like these laces. And she's very um, bubbly and very... But very uh, Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, beautiful, like a, she she moves very like with a breeze. Mm -hmm. And is she by herself or she's by herself? And there's there's, there's people, around, everyone there, but she came by herself. Mm -hmm. And she's young; she's maybe twenty something. I mean, she's very young. Connect with her mind to mind, and let's find out a little mm -hmm. bit about her. How old is she? Uh, yeah, she's about 20, maybe 5, 25, maybe 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what is she doing in this place? She's just uh, dancing. She, you know, she can, you know, there's dances, but she's just like, I don't want to say flirting. Mm -hmm. She's not flirting, but she's, she's um, like, like, um, an attention of everyone, of a mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. and, uh, she's so beautiful and 
So what happened? Everyone then? adores her and everyone wants to be like maybe mm-hmm. with her, but she's, uh, she's by herself. She's single and she's just, uh, she's just beautiful and she, she, I think she knows that she's mm-hmm. beautiful. That's right. <laughs> maybe she's taking advantage of her by like, like going around and showing herself as a beautiful woman. Mm. Very good. So is there anything else from this scene that's important? Mm. No. It's All right. like there's people, but not them. So let's okay. close that scene and let's open up to the next important scene in that same lifetime. Move ahead to the next important scene. Mm-hmm. Tell me what's happening. I'm in the room. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, what is this room? I think I'm that woman. Mm-hmm. I'm in the room with uh, a young man. Mm-hmm. What's happening in that? Room? And he's just, uh, <laughs> he's like, uh, what's the word? Like car- caressing me, like mm-hmm. being very playful and nice. Yeah. He's kissing my my arms. Mm-hmm. Um. Um. Like we're not supposed to. You know, like in in that time, I don't think we're supposed to be together because mm-hmm. it's forbidden. It's yeah. Mm-hmm. What is he to you? Is he a different mm-hmm. social status to you? Why is it forbidden? It's um. Yeah, he's um. He's just serving there. He's mm-hmm. just working there. Mm-hmm. Are you in love with him? Um, yeah, I would, I would say so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's see what happens next. I want you to advance forward to another significant event in that same lifetime. And tell me where you are. Um, are you indoors or outdoors? Um, Outside, mm-hmm. on a horse. Mm-hmm. Are, you, are you by yourself on that horse? It's a white horse. I'm mm-hmm. riding the horse. Mm-hmm. And we playing like a... Who's playing? It seemed like some kind of a game mm-hmm. with a ball. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know, I don't want to analyze it, but I just, mm-hmm. just on the horse. And now I'm, I'm getting off the horse and it's like a, a beautiful, I don't know if I live there, it's a beautiful, it's like a big, huge mansion, it's white. Mm-hmm. And someone else, like another gentleman, helped me out of the horse, he's got a black like a hat, like a those, like a long hat, like the similar, like you, you know, the magicians like the rabbit out of mm-hmm. that kind of hat. Yes, <clears throat> and a suit, and I'm having like a like beautiful white umbrella as well, and uh, I'm wearing white as well now. Mm-hmm. And where is this place? It's, it's I think it's my place. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's my husband. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Or maybe he's supposed to be my husband. I don't know. And where are they serving this? Are he's they... got like a moustache. Mm-hmm. I hate moustaches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we're going, I think we go inside and there's going to be some kind of a dinner there. <clears throat> um, yes, there's... Uh, then I served uh, silver plates and trays and it's a very fancy place. Mm-hmm. Are you eating very, anything there? Um, yeah, I'm eating like a chicken, mm-hmm. kind of a chicken, I think, like a chicken. Mm-hmm. Look around um, you. Who else is sitting with you? It's this man. This. Mm-hmm. He's older, he's got a moustache. Very and, good. Uh, 
I think it's just us. I try to <clears throat> think that's my parents. No, but it's just us too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How do you feel? He's um, yeah. kissing my hand, like my uh, my hand, mm -hmm. and he's sitting at the table with some candles and big pictures, like a paintings. <clears throat> Very good. Like a golden, golden frames and. Like a, a f uh, like a fireplace. It's not fire, but it's like like a fireplace kind of a feature of the house. Mm -hmm. And there's servants coming. The ladies they've got like a white aprons on their white hats on, and they just bring you food. Very good. And so um, now, allow yourself to close that scene. And let's go to the next significant scene in that lifetime. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to be there now. What do you see? I'm holding a baby. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, Is this your baby? It's my baby, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's funny, kind of wrapped like a... Yeah, I wouldn't wrap a baby like that, but it's wrapped. Mm -hmm. Tell me more so, about this baby. How does this baby feel to you? Feels. First, I thought it was Sarah, but it's not. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's... I think it's not my baby. I think I'm. I think it's. Maybe the servant's baby, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like adopting this baby or something. Like it's my, like I'm looking after this baby as if it's my baby. Mm -hmm. But I think it's the servant's baby, but I have it. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why you have this baby. Um, You'll know it. I think uh, this servant, the lady. It's my husband's child mm -hmm. with her. So I don't know if it's yeah, but yeah, I have to have this baby because mm -hmm. very good. It's she can't have this baby. Mm -hmm. It's uh, so. Let's find out what happens with this baby. Allow yourself to drift and float into the. Another part of this life. Mm -hmm. I think it's a girl. Mm -hmm. She's bigger now and she's run, running around, around the house. And Are you happy? Then. Or maybe it's a boy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's got curly hair, long hair. I think it's a boy. Mm -hmm. That just looks like a girl. But it's got pants, but just the hair is like, we don't cut hair. How old is this boy? Scary. He's maybe like eight or nine years old. Mm -hmm. And there's um, a teacher came to teach him. Mm -hmm. um, and he's very uh, active, like very... Mm -hmm. um, like he's very bubbly, but he knows things and he's very smart and mm -hmm. uh, he looks different now. He's got curly hair and then a the teacher. So now and, it's uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah, and then the child is the uh, he's like having this um like a like um. Dirigent in an orchestra has got this little mm -hmm. piece of s the baton. Yeah, like and he's just um, like in the orchestra, he's telling the teacher like what to do. Mm -hmm. well, it should be the other way around, mm -hmm. and um, but he's just like mucking around with him. Mm -hmm. And uh, how does that make you feel as you watch that? Uh, funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's um, good. Because it's just funny, because he's so smart and mm -hmm. he's so um, full of life and and uh, and this yeah and this uh, this teacher I see as a, like a uh, a black kind of a 
shadowy figure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, is there anything else important in that scene? Take a look around. Mm. Well, since just imagine having another baby then. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to fast forward that scene. Fast forward into another significant event in that lifetime and see what happens. Be there now. Where are you? Um, um, me that, I don't know, this, this feels strange because it feels like I'm a, I look like a servant now. Mm -hmm. I look like, a, like I'm dressed differently, mm -hmm. like. A servant. So tell me where you are. Um, in the same house. Mm -hmm. In the kitchen. How old are you there now? Um, maybe forty. Mm -hmm. So and that's I'm fine. Making a bread. Let's find out what happened in that house. This is the same lifetime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happened. So, uh, my husband put me in there. Mm -hmm. Like he made me the ser as a servant. As a and who is now the, the mistress of the house? Uh, I don't know if there's any. Mm -hmm. So you're I now. Can, yeah, I think he's just flirting with all of them. Mm -hmm. He's just the man of the house. Mm -hmm. He's just. So how do you feel now with that new uh, outfit? That well, new I don't one? feel like I've ever loved him anyway. Mm -hmm. I just. It just was. It's like, I don't want to say arranged marriage, but it's just the thing you, you do. Mm -hmm. You just marry someone and... Um, so as you're making that bread, what's going on in your mind? Um, How are you feeling there? I feel good. I feel... I'm not with him anymore. And mm -hmm. Even if I'm a servant, I feel I'm free. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm... I can just... All right, so, yeah. so let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Imagine yourself now going through mm -hmm. time and space and be there now. And tell me where you are. I'm lying on a big bed. Mm -hmm. It's my bed, like in this house, mm -hmm. like it used to be. Mm -hmm. I'm older and I'm on my own. It's a huge bed with posts and curtains or fabrics around it. Mm -hmm. What white, mm -hmm. white sheets. Um, and what's happened to your husband? Um, I don't know, he's not there. Mm -hmm. I think there's a doctor there, maybe? Mm -hmm. like a, Who's around you? Oh, maybe. It's like a, I don't think it's a, a, an old doctor, it's like an older woman. Mm -hmm. She's, maybe it's my mother. Take a like look at a, their, take a look at their eyes. Like, which is my grandmother in this life, mm -hmm. but she's my mother there. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, um. She's wearing like a black clothes, and I've got this hat, like a like the hats that you wear when you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, white ones, and I think I'm sick and I'm just dying. And All right. So just allow yourself to transition out of your body, taking that last breath, and as you leave that body behind, I'll. All lives have purposes and lessons. What was the purpose of that lifetime? Mm. 
just doesn't matter who you are and what status you are. Mm -hmm. You just have to feel you're free. Very and, good. Um, and what lessons? That you'll do what you want to do in life. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn? I learned not to agree to a marriage, even though it's a social, like a cultural thing to do. Like mm -hmm. a, it's it's because that's what it's meant to be. Mm -hmm. So I should do what I want to do. I should. Uh, Very good. <laughs> How does that lesson apply to your lifetime? It's like I am. Like you're not allowed to love someone. Mm -hmm. Because of the social pressure. Mm -hmm. You have to do what, what the society tells you to do. Mm -hmm. What are you learning from that? I'm learning that uh, that even though I shouldn't feel guilty of my own choices. Mm -hmm. Uh, who I want to love, I just I'm allowed to love whoever mm -hmm. I want to love. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I can't, like I should connect with my heart and just follow my heart mm -hmm. and not listen to other people, what other people say, what's appropriate and what's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you now to continue on your path and find out where it is that you go after that lifetime. Let's continue and see what happens to your soul. Where do you go? Where does your soul go? I feel like I'm going to Poland, mm -hmm. but it's, it's like Auschwitz thing. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to be having a short life there. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Um, Where do you go? Like in the camp. Um, my head is shaved. Mm -hmm. I'm a young girl. I'm maybe uh, 16 or 18. And what are you wearing? Everything. Now? Oh, it looks like my mom. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what my mom is. I can just. I don't know, it's a bit confusing. Mm -hmm. Just tell me what you see, don't think. Um, it just, yeah, it's it's very grey and... What are you doing at this camp? <sighs> What's happening I there? It's weird, I feel like... My mom is that girl. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. <laughs> like she's this girl and I'm the, the German officer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to be shooting her. Mm -hmm. And it looks, but it's just, no, she's, I don't know, it's like a I think it's, uh, she's like a little girl there. She's like a little girl. She's got like a toy in her hand. 
And someone else is dragging her, like a, dragging her there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm just watching it. I don't like it being there. I don't like this place. I don't like following these orders either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We have to kill these people. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> There's children there and families. <laughs> it's just not right. <laughs> What happens next? What do you do now? I'm killing myself. I'm killing myself because I can't do this. How do you kill yourself? I'm just putting a gun in my head. I don't want to do this, but I have to. I just, because I can't, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. It's... It's it's not right. So go ahead. <laughs> Let's see what happens next. What do you do next? What happens to you now? Where does your soul go as you leave that body? I'm just going to the light and mm -hmm. just going to rest. So allow yourself to rest now. And my body vibrates. Mm -hmm. Vibrates. It's vibrating. It's hurting. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to just feel it's the sensation. Hurting. Feel the sensation of your body. It's just vibrating and it's vibrating. Mm -hmm. Focus on the vibrations. Then it's light. The light is in there. Mm -hmm. I'm just. What happens now? Floating, and I'm just like going to the light. Mm -hmm. Like floating there. But I'm still vibrating. I'd like, like for that. you to, as you go to the light, find your guides. Find your guide that takes you. Uh, it's a. Uh, I don't know who this person is. He looks like an old man. Mm -hmm. Describe him for me. He's uh, he's he's got long white beard, and he's got like a halo mm -hmm. above his head. Yes. Above, yeah, like a halo. Mm -hmm. He hasn't got wings, so I'm just thinking wings, so they appear, but he's just, he's just like a, yeah, he's like an old angel. Mm -hmm. So connect with him mind to mind. He's just flapping his wings. Mm -hmm. Connect with him mind to mind, heart to heart. And let's find out who this man is. So. Ask him. Who oh, is he? Uh, I don't know. I want to say my father, but I don't. I've never seen my father, so I don't know if it's him. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Ask him his name. Well, the name is confusing because the name comes. Richard, mm -hmm. but Richard is my other dad. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what Richard wants to tell you today. What is he telling you about that last life? He's just telling me it doesn't matter who your father is. Mm -hmm. I'm your father. Mm -hmm. And I 
Ask him more about that. It's just saying... Like, it's, it's not my father, but he's... It's like he's saying it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Is he your soul father? He's, uh... I don't want to say say God, but he's who is he to you? Weird. Mm -hmm. What is he telling you? It's it's like God figure, but I don't think God is a figure. So mm -hmm. it's a bit confusing. So let's find out who he actually is. Uh, ask him to identify himself, and ask him who he actually is. He says, I'm your father. Mm -hmm. And this is what I look like. Mm -hmm. But he's just an old man, an old white beard, mm -hmm. long hair, like this, almost like this man from Lord of the Rings, you know? Mm -hmm. Like a wizard. He yes. looks like a wizard. But he's not as tall, he's shorter. So ask this man if he is your father. Who are you? I'm a spirit. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that he's there for you to do today. How is he to guide you today? He's making me to be an angel. Mm -hmm. Is this who you truly are? Is this your form as an angel? I've got wings. Mm -hmm. Take a look at yourself. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I've got a halo too, and I've got blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Ask him what this means. What does this mean, these wings and halo? <laughs> he said, dumb. He's sending me on Earth as an angel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's weird. Mm -hmm. Does this father of yours have a sense of humor? Um, he said, uh, it's serious business, he said. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, he <laughs> says. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I... Uh, I'm like an angel, and I will be like an angel. So let's um, ask him, ask your father, what's your purpose in this lifetime? It's to look after people. Mm -hmm. It's to give them protection, put my wings around them and comfort them. Mm -hmm. And... make them feel good around me mm -hmm. and they don't even have to know that I'm an angel. Mm -hmm. They don't have to know who I am. They don't have to see me. I can be anonymous. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, I'm just helping like bringing people together and, uh, like helping build some communities together. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just leave to another group and build another, like, help other group of people mm -hmm. to uni unite and join forces. And then I go to another group and do the same. Mm -hmm. Just now. Um, is she to do this with relationships also? Um, it's more helping humanity, mm -hmm. like that. Just humans be united, be together, like working together mm -hmm. to whatever purpose they may have. Yes. Um, 
just like guiding them maybe like a like giving them the idea and then they work around this idea and then I leave when I feel they're ready to continue that mm -hmm. by themselves. So is she going to be doing this with businesses also? With work related to? Um, it doesn't matter what it is. It's, okay, it's always the same thing. It's always just bringing people together like a group and then going and helping other people. Wonderful. So, yeah. What lessons is Grace meant to learn in this time around? <sighs> she needs to learn that she's the angel and that her life as a human it's just temporary and it's not a big deal and it's, I'm just, I'm there like a incognito, like a, mm -hmm. that no one knows who I am mm -hmm. uh, and they're not meant to know, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, because assistance is out of unconditional love and people don't have to know that there's angels around them mm -hmm. and they can hate you or love you because they can see only the human form mm -hmm. uh, but you know who you are now, you showed her several different lifetimes today. Mm -hmm. You showed her one where she was an aquatic being. Mm -hmm. You showed her one where she was a puppet, like a Pinocchio. Mm -hmm. What did you show her all these different lifetimes? Because she thinks, she finds herself that she's being taken from one place to another like a puppet. Mm -hmm. It feels like that when you do the task. Mm -hmm. You just go to one place and then you have to leave. And you feel guided, you have to leave that place and go somewhere else. So same as the mermaid. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the mermaid also, she needs to know to be playful. She mm -hmm. keeps forgetting that. She needs to be playful and enjoy life um, in that form mm -hmm. um, because it's a big task that she's having and she she carries that seriousness and uh, the importance of the task but she forgets to enjoy to as have well, fun to mm -hmm. have fun while she's there. Mm -hmm. And then you showed her one of her being a very um, rich woman. Yes. Who ends up being the servant. Why did you show her that yes. last time? Um, she struggles with love. She thinks she can love many people. Mm -hmm. At the same time, she loves everyone, even her enemies. And... Uh, because she's she's a servant. Mm -hmm. She's she's an angel. She's serving mm -hmm. everyone. These mm -hmm. lifetimes that you showed her were these true lifetimes or just metaphors? Were they just? Um, I think she knows she hasn't lived those lifetimes. Mm -hmm. It's to help her understand that it doesn't like she's she struggles with those relationships but it doesn't matter mm -hmm. because 
she loves everyone. She can love anyone she likes mm-hmm. because she loves everyone anyway. Mm-hmm. She uh, she can't not love someone. Mm-hmm. She feels love unconditionally to everyone. And for her to choose someone to stay with someone, it's hard because yes. she loves them all. Is that why she leaves relationships? Um, yeah, it's it's a human thing to to be restricted, mm-hmm. to be with one person or with a female or a male, or it's because it doesn't matter. Or it was, even if it was a pet, you know, it's mm-hmm. any kind of life form. If it's a rock or a tree, she loves it all. So this pattern of her going from relationship to relationship mm-hmm. is just. The fact that she just loves them and needs yeah. to go on to the next one? She loves them all. She loves the, the past lovers and the future mm-hmm. lovers and, mm-hmm. and and in between. And it doesn't matter. It's just the nature of being love. Yes. When you love, you love everyone. Mm-hmm. And it's hard to choose one because everything is one anyway. Mm-hmm. Now you showed her a life in which she saw herself as a German shoulder. Yes. Why did you show her that? Was that a true life? No. What was that? But it's a lesson mm-hmm. for other people to understand that even though the Germans did what they did, that not everyone liked what they did. Mm-hmm. It's for people to learn, especially those who were in the camps. Mm -hmm. The Poles, the Jews, any kind of person there. Mm -hmm. That it just what it was, it was and it was a job. It was, they were just following the orders. Mm Some people took advantage of their power and they overused their power. But most of them didn't want to do what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And the nations need to forgive those who were killing the murderers. Mm -hmm. Those who put the gas in the chambers those who tortured, those who commit other crimes, because if they knew what they were doing, they would not be doing them. Mm -hmm. Because all there is is love. And when you love, you wouldn't hurt one another. Mm -hmm. So when they do these acts, they misaligned. They are of love at that time. And they need to be forgiven. Now she tells me that she would like to become more compassionate, warmer to others, and a better mother. She partner. can't be more compassionate than what she is. So why does she come off as being so cold? Because people don't understand Mm -hmm. who she is. So tell me about that. How can she adjust it to where others won't see her as being so cold? She needs to accept who she is. Mm -hmm. And she needs to understand that humans struggle with seeing others of who have this pure connection with love, who are who they truly are, because others might not be aligned mm-hmm. with us. Mm-hmm. So and then, then they put the judgment mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. one to another. So those that are not aligned get offended. Hmm. They they get upset or mm-hmm. jealous, angry. They feel intimidated. Mm-hmm. They feel like they want to be part of this love and they can't. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to become love. But they already are. Mm-hmm. And they feel they are, they feel attracted to her because she emanates that. Mm-hmm. And they want to be that. But they don't allow themselves to be that. Mm-hmm. And it hurts them. Mm-hmm. And when it hurts them, they want to hurt her. Because they they want to be that. Mm-hmm. And they just don't know they're that already. They need to allow to become who they truly are. Okay, so she's doing what she needs to do. She is. Mm-hmm. Good. Can you tell her a little bit about her biological father? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who the father is in this life or... This is just like bloodlines. Mm -hmm. They don't matter. They're only there for human curiosity, Mm -hmm. for human reproduction. There's only one father, mother, one. She's doing already so much. Mm -hmm. She needs to understand that others may feel intimidated in her presence and she has got those high expectations of others being like her but it takes time for others to become like her. Everyone has got his own, her own, their own path. Mm -hmm. We can't speed it up for them. They need to do it themselves. Okay, very good. Can she accept that? She has to. (laughs) Thank you. That's the only way. How does she become a better QHHT practitioner? <laughs> she's um, she's already very good. Mm-hmm. She jumped in fast, and she's. Well connected. Mm -hmm. She is helping others to open up to us. She needs to practice. Mm -hmm. Mastery comes with practice. She's doing very, very well. Mm-hmm. Mm. So how can she be a, be a better healer, a humanity server? Mm. Is there other modalities that she can use? She could do whatever she chose to do. Mm-hmm. She can't be any better than what she is. Because mm-hmm. she is... Good. Mm-hmm. 
So she just needs the practice. Yes, mm -hmm. in that modality, yes. Mm -hmm. what about, if she chooses. What about other modalities? Does she have anything ahead of her? Anything in the future that you've agreed to with her? It's not meant to be told yet. Mm -hmm. She will do that for some time. Mm -hmm. And then another project will appear. Mm -hmm. It's always one step at a time. Mm -hmm. She would like to be able to experience the tapestry room. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her about that? She already knows what it's like. Mm -hmm. She's been there before. Mm -hmm. She comes from that. She's part of it. What does she do in the tapestry room? She is the tapestry room. Mm -hmm. She is all that is. So which means that she doesn't need to experience that today? She is experiencing it every day. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. Is she going to be okay with that answer? <laughs> she has to. Okay, very good. She'd also like to be able to see with her third eye vision, mm -hmm. clairvoyance be able to switch it on and off when she needs it. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her about that? There will be time when that's activated. Mm -hmm. She needs to focus one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. So what is her focus at this time? Practice this modality mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she's doing. Okay, good. And have fun. And have fun, good. What about conscious out-of-body experiences? Mm -hmm. Can they be facilitated consciously and at will when needed? She feels blocked there. She doesn't need it mm -hmm. for her work. She does it anyway. Mm -hmm. She just doesn't remember. She does it on her own, her, she, her own way. She does it mm -hmm. when she sleeps. Okay. But she doesn't remember. Okay. She's she, got bigger things to do. Okay. There's no need for her They're to remember. worrying about okay. this stuff. Okay. So this blockage that she feels, is it because of it's, it's a, the conscious mind is blocking it? No. What is it? It's because it's like a kindergarten. Mm. She's already out of that. She's got bigger things to do. Okay. Good. What about channeling? other higher consciousness. Mm. She wants a practical, exact method on preparations and facilitation. What would you like to tell her about that? She will detach from the body when the time is right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. She wants to know source versus I, <laughs> creation, expansion. She wants the reason behind it all. Don't we all? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the answer for that one? There's no answer <laughs> to that. Because there's no end 
Mm-hmm. There's no beginning either. Mm-hmm. So she is the source. Mm-hmm. So she's able to access herself on a different level. She is. Mm-hmm. She does this all the time. <laughs> what are her superpowers? That's her superpower. Mm, to connect with source? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Will she be able to use her superpowers to help others on a different level? She already does. Okay, good. She does it all the time. Very good. She doubts herself because she doesn't realize who she truly is. Do you think that after this session she'll know? Yes. Very good. Would you do a body scan on her, please? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on with her body. Something in the head. Mm Mm-hmm. Can we find out what that is? What's there? Guilt. Mm Mm-hmm. Did she create that guilt? Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. Where is that guilt coming from? When did she create it? Not feeling good enough. Mm Mm-hmm. Would you allow us to transform that guilt today? Yes. All right. So, I'd like to now find out what would be a way that we can transform that guilt what would it's we like to we'd like to find transform it to something else it's gone it's gone very mm-hmm. good thank you what else have you found in her body her throat okay what's going on there she needs to speak mm-hmm. her truth. So is the throat causing any blockage in her chakra? Mm. No. What's it causing in her throat? It's... She's afraid. Mm-hmm. What is she afraid to speak? Of? Okay. That's true. Because the truth is big and pure and scary mm-hmm. to some. But there's no fear. It's created by people themselves. Mm -hmm. Do we need to have that blockage there anymore? No. Could you remove that for her, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let me know when you're done and what you're using to unblock it. I'm cutting it. Wonderful. Let me know when you're done. It's thick. It's been there forever. Mm-hmm. She wasn't allowed to talk. She, she was a little girl. So how thick is this cord? It's thick. Mm-hmm. Let me know when you're done. Mm-hmm. 
are we complete with that? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. What else have you found? Mm. I just it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. So, what was causing the scoliosis before? The misalignment. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you still need alignment in her back today? No. Okay. What about her eyesight? What's going on with that? That's good. It's good. What about her left deaf ear? It needs to be like it is. Why is that? Because it would be too overwhelming for her to hear the cows on it. So she only hears the love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can she accept that? Yes. What caused all that bleeding in her? She needed to rest. Okay. And what about the right eye spot? Mm. What caused that? Nothing to worry about. Wonderful. So how can she now overcome that weak will that she has about eating? Mm. Does she need to worry about that that much? No. Why does she yes. have such such feelings about eggs, for example? It's just expectations mm -hmm. she puts on herself mm -hmm. in this form. She knows where she's from and struggles with human food. Mm. She knows she doesn't need it and she struggles to accept that in this form she needs food. Mm -hmm. Does it matter what type of food she eats? No. So when she's eating something that she doesn't feel is what she's putting out there authentically. What would you like to tell her? Because she's been clogging up her mind with guilt. It's just the intention mm -hmm. you put with the food you consume. Because all is love anyway. Very good. Thank you. What about memory loss? Why can't she remember so much? <laughs> Just the human thing. Mm -hmm. Does she need to remember anymore? No. No? She knows. That's all she needs. What she needs to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in her case, she just knows. She doesn't have to remember. No, mm -hmm. she knows she, within. Within. She's accessing a different database. She knows because she is that. She is the love and she knows it. Good. Thank you. What are her guides? Who helps Grace? Hmm. We all are, mm -hmm. but she doesn't need the guide. She is the guide. Mm -hmm. 
Does she have any guides with her, like spirit guides at all? She can choose whoever she likes Mm -hmm. to be her guides for her conscious mind, but she doesn't need them. Okay, good. What about the location? for living and working, Mm. what would be the best choice for her? She always travels Mm -hmm. where her next project is. Okay. And you're not about to reveal that to her at this time? Okay. Can she buy that answer? She has to. She has to. (laughs) So can you tell me today, who is it that I'm speaking with? Me. Mm -hmm. And can you explain, in your own words, who me is? We all are me. Mm -hmm. It's all that is. Mm -hmm. And do you have a message for Grace at this time? Grace needs to know that she is truly Grace and she needs to believe it. That's why we chose that name mm. for her. It's a perfect name, isn't it? It is. Mm-hmm. Do you have a message for anyone else? There are changes coming for everyone. Can you tell me about these changes? Are they physical, emotional, spiritual? The changes mm-hmm. are occurring on all levels everywhere in the universe and other universes. Mm-hmm. People need to be prepared for chaos. Mm -hmm. And in this chaos, how can we survive? Mm -hmm. How can we we can be at peace with the chaos? When people align with us. There is no chaos. Very good. Are we talking about earth changes? Everything Mm -hmm. will change. Not just the earth. Mm -hmm. There is no earth. Just what? Hmm. All right. So, now that we have that understanding, is there anything else that you would like to say in closing? Thank you for your work, as always. Thank you. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you very much. Wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
God. How do you feel? Good. <laughs> it was crazy. Wow. So? <sighs> how long do you feel you're on this journey? Oh, not long. Like what? I don't know, maybe half an hour? We're on an hour and 42 minutes right now. Wow. <sighs> this mermaid. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. These were all metaphors that you were given to explain your life as an angel. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> it's going to take you a while to process this, huh? People, people, some people call me Angel. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about this session? Is this something that you want to share or you want to keep private? You think this will be good for people or it's just for you? Mm, either way. I don't think I, I mentioned it. Was really, the whole thing was metaphors. They weren't <laughs> yeah. past lives. No. They were there to, to, to give you that information. Because it was weird the way I felt it. It was like I was this, but I wasn't this. Mm -hmm. You were distant from it. You were kind of like I was observer. watching it, observer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I was like with it, mm -hmm. but it was more like emotions. Yeah. It was weird. Mm-hmm. And then there was this Vienna thing. I didn't want to go there. This was the session my client had. Mm -hmm. And I felt I'm in the same thing. Mm -hmm. oh, it's weird. <laughs> All of them were basically metaphors. They were stories that just explained things to you. Yeah. It wasn't your life. No. You were you're just an angel here at this one time. I was told that I didn't have past lives before. Right. And that's why you res you experience these because you wanted to experience what it would be like yeah well you did it <laughs> thank you you're welcome oh gosh how did it feel different than others i felt <clears throat> it didn't feel like i was making it up mm -hmm. i felt like and not was my voice talking. Mm. It was pretty different. But it was weird. Mm -hmm. It was... Uh, it was similar to this channeling I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to be doing more of that. Yeah. You're connected. <sighs> but... You, you were basically told you have to practice to master something. I found I didn't have words. Mm -hmm. I didn't have enough vocabulary. Mm. <laughs> you never do. It's too many concepts to be fitting into a language yeah. that's so limited. Yeah. Pretty cool. So how was the session for you? <laughs> it, was, it was great. It was amazing. I don't... So tell everybody how it felt. It felt... It felt crazy, but it felt good crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm just speechless. I don't know what to say because it's, uh, it's different from what I experienced before. So you have, you do these sessions. I mean, you do QHHT. Yes, I do. What is the difference between what you experience today and um, what you're doing? <laughs> I think... Like I put myself in the client's position mm -hmm. and um, and when I had clients on the beds, I never know whether they, uh, what, what's going to happen, right? right? And, um, <laughs> and sometimes I don't believe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but... Uh, this make you a believer? It makes me a believer, yeah. Because mm -hmm. you can feel it now. I can feel it. I can feel it how it works. Before it didn't work, and I think because I was in the way. Mm -hmm. And this time I felt different. I felt um, like I wasn't even allowed to talk. Mm -hmm. You know, as my conscious your, mind. Your I conscious mean, mind was my, not allowed. Yes, that's right. And that's the that's, perfect that's way. That's how it feels. Yeah. 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 So how would you tell people now how to prepare for a session? <sighs> um... 
I would just say go with the flow, with the first feelings, and even if it doesn't make sense, because mm-hmm. it didn't make sense with these marionettes and stuff, <laughs> and so I'm making this up, there's some Winnie the Pooh stuff or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yes. But it's obviously it's stored in the memory from somewhere, Yeah. from childhood or whatever, and we created to get somewhere else, you know? And, and, and in this session, we did not have past lives. No. Uh, I tell all of my clients, sometimes we do not have past lives. We don't connect with the higher self. Um, we Sometimes we connect with, with parents. Mm-hmm. So in your case, you didn't have past lives, but you were given stories. Yes. So that you could understand things. So you could yes, relate right. to it. Yes. It happened to me before. Mm-hmm. I was told that there were like imprints. There right. were programs exactly. for me to understand this human life. Yeah. So tell everybody what an imprint is. Well, it's basically like a... Um, I call it like a downloaded program mm-hmm. for you to know something in this life, in this form, in order to do whatever you're meant to do mm-hmm. as this being. Right. So if you come here without any experience, let's mm-hmm. say an angel who's come here for the first time <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and you have no, no earthly experience, you would be able to take an imprint of other people, other things, uh, other lives so that you can come with that experience. That's correct. That's how it felt. Mm-hmm. It felt like it doesn't matter who's um, Who's like story it? I would be shown mm-hmm. it's just for me to understand something out of the story correct and that's what we did yeah Thank so you. do you recommend this to other people definitely <laughs> good <laughs> <laughs> so right now we are in Coulomb Beach Australia believe yeah. it or not and tell everybody where you work out of I work uh, from South Australia um, between Sudan and Adelaide Mm-hmm. And how can they find you if they wanted to have a QHHT session with um, you? Well, they can look up my website, gracelovequhht.weebly.com. Okay. Or and just connect via Facebook. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll, we'll put the, mm-hmm. the letters here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you want a session with me, I do travel all over the world. My, my uh, website is albawyman.com. And when I travel, I send a newsletter out telling people where I'll be going to next. And this is how Grace found out that I was coming to Australia. And you just sign up for that newsletter. And if there's a city near you, make sure that you book it really fast because they go immediately. So I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Until the next time. Bye. See ya. Let me have that hug.